Okay, I'm going to wrap up what's been going on this week with an extra Taiwan special on Friday. Brett Kavanaugh, um, fast overview. I, I was a little bit more in-depth about this in, in sort of an extra episode on YouTube this week. Recording was bad. I'm going to go over it. I could have said it a lot faster. But it was a great video. I, you should go watch it. Absolutely. The accusation against Brett Kavanaugh is, if true, it shouldn't matter because humans should repent and learn. And Ted Kennedy did far worse things in his tenure. If Brett Kavanaugh shouldn't go to the Supreme Court because of this, then Ted Kennedy's time as a senator should be nullified, including his vote, which would undo Obamacare. But Feinstein isn't advocating for that. Okay, so... By, by not seeking to first nullify Ted Kennedy's time as senator, the Democrats, Senator Feinstein, who's bringing this up, this is all, a lot of this is from Senator Feinstein. They are saying that this crime doesn't matter, supposedly. That, that what they're talking about is a crime, uh, as a crime, you know, if it were true, that they're saying that that type of thing wouldn't matter because... Uh, they don't want to nullify Ted Kennedy's time uh, for doing worse things. Okay. Second thing. Feinstein waited. And, I mean, she knew about this in July. She's had this sitting, waiting, doing nothing, wasting time since July. If she, I mean, she should be investigated by the FBI as to why she wouldn't fail to report a crime for so long. She thinks she's on record now. She thinks that something that's a crime should not be reported for several months. That sounds, what other crimes is she sitting on that she's not saying anything about? Okay. All right. Now, generally what this really looks like is that the Democrats invented this and they've had it. They've been planning this for a long time, which is what's really going on. And it's not really legitimate. And you know, th this is, this is another, this is what it looks like. This is the other argument. What I said before is if we take this seriously, this is if we take it for what it looks like, which is all made up. Um, I think that the people of California should walk away from Feinstein I think the people of California should feel bad for having chosen her for their senator. Um, I, I that that's how I feel about this. Um, Brett Kavanaugh should be uh, nominated quickly. I think the reason that the Republicans are delaying is probably because they want. You know, I, there's an old saying: when your enemy is making a fool of himself, don't interrupt. And I think that the Republicans are looking at this saying, wow, uh, Democrats are making fools of themselves. Let's not interrupt. I, I think that's what the Republicans are doing. Um, but as I've said, this stuff with Brett Kavanaugh, now you've got the Republican voters irritated that the Republicans aren't just ignoring this and voting anyway. The, the, the conservatives don't want this delay. They want, they want the Republicans to hurry up. And it's this kind of stuff. It's the Republicans not doing that right or wrong. I'm not talking about right or wrong. I'm just talking about what is right or wrong. We can have a conversation another day, but this is the kind of stuff that makes Republicans want to walk away from the Republican party. So again, if you're new to the walk away movement, you need to know Conservatives and Republican voters have wanted to walk away from the Republicans for a long time. And it's for stuff like, Kav like with Brett Kavanaugh, Republicans letting the Democrats play their silly games. You know, this is obviously made up because other, if Senator Feinstein really believed this was a crime, she would not have waited so long. Um, because in, in waiting, if she really does believe this is a crime, then she's incriminated herself for delay of due process. It'd be interference of due process. I would be my argument. I don't, I'm not a legal beagle. Um, but was this lady told? 
So th there are a lot of people saying a lot of things about this. Well, you know, you, you accuse me. You don't want to show up. You know, like there's that going on. I'll let other people cover this, but I've, I've shared my two cents worth. But I, I think that the, the Republicans are letting the Democrats hang themselves out to dry. All right. Um, walk away movement. I've, I'm going to be talking about this more a little bit at uh, some point in the future. Maybe the week after next, I'll get to it. I've, I'm really busy in my life. Um, I'm, I'm asking myself, walk away. What didn't occur to them? Now, I, try to hear me on this, okay? I think this exposes a bad attitude that I've got. I'm going to be talking about this in the future. I think this exposes a bad attitude in my own heart, and I'm glad to see it. But just try this on for size. The guys that are walking, the people walking away, it's a walkaway movement. I, I just watched Zach King, in fact, I think I'm going to link to it. Zach King had this great talk with this girl named Kelly, and she's from Canada. She's doing the walkaway thing. And I'm listening, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm hearing because they agree with me. You know? so, but I'm, I'm trying to understand what's going on. See, everything they're saying is everything I grew up hearing and agreeing with. And as, I've, as I'm, I'm going to be explaining this later on, I think it's lack of good, healthy, loving, non-abusive, non-angry, loving, proper spankings, and also lack of uh, critical thinking training. We've got, I think there's a severe lack of this. And that's one of the things that's contributing to this, to the people that were set up and are now walking away. I think that's a factor. But here you've got these walkaway people. And all of a sudden they're, they're agreeing with ideas that have been around for hundreds of years. And what I don't hear walkaways saying is how old these ideas are. I don't hear them saying, people have been trying to tell us, why didn't we listen? I don't hear them saying, the Constitution has been around 250 years. Why were we doubtful of the document that made the most prosperous nation in the first place? I don't hear walkaways saying, next time someone who knows history and understands a thing or two tries to give me advice, I'm not going to just push him away. I'm going to do what's wise and listen. I mean, you can learn from the word or you can learn from the rod, so to speak. In this case, it's the rod of life, hard knocks. These walkaways were living life and it wasn't working and difficulties in life, as they talk about a series of red pill moments, that's what caused them to want to walk away. Now these, okay, understand, I'm, I'm telling you what my bad attitude is here. I'm telling you what I'm thinking. I'm not telling you this is right. I'm telling you the bad attitudes and the dark thoughts I'm thinking about this. So I'm, what I'm telling you is not good. What I'm telling you are my dark, not good thoughts. And I'm asking, why do I have these thoughts? So I'm glad for walk away because I'm looking at myself as the arrogant know-it-all. Okay, so my dark, arrogant know-it-all ideas. These are the same brats who went on lecturing about loving people and making the world a better place as if that's not foregone. And now there's truth to that. You never, never trust anyone who runs for, for a political office on the soapbox. Let's make the world a better place. Oh, yeah, we should make the world a better place. Sam Harris did that in the debate with Jordan Peterson. I, I commented on that. Sam Harris, we want to we make the world better. Everyone, yeah, you tell him, Sam. You tell Jordan Peterson he's wrong for wanting to make the world a bad place. You should want to make it a better place. I mean, they're, like, that's, that's what a lot of Democrats campaign on. That was Obama, you know, hope and change. What the heck is that? If you believe tomorrow is the future, yesterday is the past. And, you know, it's like, that's not saying anything. You're campaigning on, on things even, I believe we breathe air. Yeah, we do. You know, it's like, that's not a debated point. The question is not whether or not to make the world a better place, but how to make the world a better place. From how many Democrats 
campaign, you would think that Republicans are bloodsuckers who campaign by promising to give their voters more blood to suck on and drink. I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's like a, the people that were voting them, the, the, the Bernie Sandersites, it's like, if you ask them, what do Republicans talk about? They really seem to think that the Republicans, ah, yes, I am the count. And I want everyone to drink your blood. Oh yeah, drink my blood, drink everybody else's. I promise I will give you many Democrats and you can drink their blood. Yeah, yeah, two years, we hope it can happen. I mean, that's what the Bernie Sanders guys seem to think Republican politicians were advocating. So it's like, they don't, I don't like Republican politicians, but they're not Count Dracula. Uh, so there's this, all right. So anyhow, back to my dark, uh, evil little thoughts, bad attitude on this. You've got, you know, these are the, the old snowflakes lecturing us on making the world a better place, never talking about how, and, and they wouldn't listen and they, they, they didn't want to hear what anyone had to say. And now they've all become conservatives and they're still not listening. And they're still not listening to what anybody has to say. And they're still talking and they still won't shut up. Okay. So I'm kind of wondering, what's it going to be next? You, you know, I, I mean, what's, this is, these guys don't have a steering wheel. They're on, they're on autopilot. Now there's another people group that for thousands of years, no one could contain them. They even wrestle with God. Uh, it, 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 America loves this people group. I'm not going to say who. you got to figure out who I'm talking about. I, we love them. I, I've always loved the students that I can't control. I've, I've loved that. Because they'll go do the right thing and no one will be able to stop them. So I, we, we've got... so. I, I, I like what I'm seeing with this walkaway thing, but these guys aren't listening to nobody. And part of me is wondering when they are going to say, gee, maybe we should learn from history. Gee, maybe our conservative friends weren't bad. Gee, maybe I'm a dweeb and need to learn to listen when my friends try to tell me stuff. I want to hear that. Like, because I have to tell myself that. You know, here, here I am, I'm figuring out in life that there's stuff that we don't know. And we do need to be told. Nothing, you can't say that's obvious, you should know it. We're, we're, as humans, we need to be taught. And what's obvious to me may not be obvious to someone else. So I'm checking my own heart attitude when it comes to this. Now, now that I've shared all that, I want to tell you what I really think about this walkaway movement. I think they've got more surprises in store. I think, I think there are going to be more surprises coming from these guys. They're, we've got surprise, one surprise after another. They're not going to be easy to understand. These are brilliant people in their mid-20s. Uh, and, and, and then there's a little bit above and around it, but there's a lot of people in their mid-20s that are looking at the obvious evidence of life going, don't tell me that that's the way to do things. It's not working. These are very practical-minded people. And this was something that no one could have planned. This is what a movement is. It just happens. In fact, if we look at this from the Christian perspective, this is revival. Revival is something that just happens happens. And the Bible says, rend your heart. That means in your heart, you feel you've been a dweeb and you've been wrong and you should feel bad, not worthless and terrible and throw your life away, but goodness, be conscientious. Take a moment and recognize what a dweeb you've been, that you've been worthless and now it's time to become valuable. Like rend your heart is, is how the Bible would say, God would call people to repentance. 
we're seeing the early stages of revival. I've been blog I've been writing about this for years, maybe four years. I've been putting stuff on YouTube, maybe about two years every week. Encore revival returning to America, Pacific Daily Times. And I think we're looking at that. And I think that this walk away movement has all the indications that we haven't seen their last surprise. Talk to y'all later.